is the man from down under with a little thunder, WWE and Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, Bushwhacker Luke. And here something else comes from down under too. The Wrestling With Figs podcast with my mates Chris and James. You gotta tune into this great podcast because Chris and James will give you all the inside info. Whoa! Yay! Hello and welcome to another episode of the Wrestling With Figs podcast. I'm your host, James Thomas. And I'm your co-host, Chris Maddock, over here in the West. Happy Melbourne Cup Day, James. Uh, do you yeah, get a holiday? Do you get a new holiday? No, we don't get a holiday, but uh, you might as well call it a holiday because there's <laughs> plenty of drunk people around my area at the moment. Yeah, no holiday in the West either. Uh, and uh, what a great race. Did you win? Did you have a bet? No, I didn't have a bet. I didn't. I had uh, a very small bet, so gamble responsibly if you're watching <laughs> and like a flutter. Uh, and I said, my kid, my son was really into it this year. He's only six, and he was like, we've got to get a horse, Dad. We've got to have a horse so we can win money. And I said, all right, well, I'll put a couple of dollars on for your birthday, 22, and I'll put a couple of dollars on for my birthday, but which is the 26. Uh, yeah. So I had to choose a different number, and I said, I'll put a couple of dollars on for your sister's birthday, which is the fourth. And, of course, number four won. So oh, wow. uh, awesome. 51 bucks, I think, for a $3 bet. So That's pretty awesome. happy with that. There you go. Thanks to our uh, sponsors, Tabcorp, for um, for looking after us. Yes, and Great tune in fun. next week with our big sponsorship with Tabcorp, and we will have uh, gold suits on. So, <laughs> they, Mate, there's loads to, cover. loads to cover tonight, everyone. But uh, this is this is going to be one of our bigger shows. But we're gonna we're gonna cram it in there and, and try to keep to our you know normal time frame of uh, what 60, 80 minutes. So uh, bear with us as we get through this this mountain of content we always aim for 60 we say every every week pre-show we say to each other right we've got to get 60 minutes we've got to nail 60 minutes and then when we're ticking over 100 minutes we're like shit that went long so um (laughs) yes so we're aiming for 60 but we'll probably be about 80 i reckon we've got so many big things to talk about the ringside reveals and also um everything else happening in the world of collecting but the big story we say giddy up because it's melbourne cup Uh, day but Giddy in for Oklahoma City. How good is he playing? Oh, go the Aussie. And it's it's just it's so humbling and fantastic to see. And also Paddy Mills, he's just taken his, you know, he's always been great, but he's taken his uh his boomers campaign form into the NBA and he's just killing it with the with his new team, the Brooklyn Nets. Uh it's just awesome. It's just so great to see Aussies contending on the big stage and I love it. It's it's so good. And, and look, and has, has your FD your FDU fantasy team going, is it uh, winning? Mate, to be honest, I haven't even looked at it since I set the team up. <laughs> wow. So you, I've been checking it, but the big thing I'm finding is I don't know who half the players are. Yeah. I've, I've so, got some good players in there. I've got some really good players. I've got, I've got uh, Steph Curry. I watched him the other day. He, he had a blinder. Yeah. I've got Paddy Mills. He's having, he's killing it. I've got, uh, I've got a number of good players. I'll, I'll check it and come back to you. Good one. Um, All right. So should we get into the show? Yes, let's get into it. Let's kick it off with community news. Community news. Community news. Hey, James, can we start off tonight by just acknowledging uh, KG, uh, who's joined the pod to do the sound after Adam has retired young. Um, uh, I just want to say thanks, KG, and well done on the first ep you did last week. Uh, fantastic. Sounded great. Yeah, awesome, mate. Much appreciated, bro. And uh, do we call him KG because we don't want to call him by his real name? Is that his, uh, his stage yeah, that's name? His, that's his... Alter ego, I think. Uh, Alter ego. But, uh, okay. We'll have to find out whether he wants to be known as KG or Keith or, okay. or oh, Sweetheart, or, whatever, or, or Sweetheart, whatever he wants to be called. <laughs> now you're a legend, KG. We greatly appreciate it. KG well, let's kick is it off. like KG is Smash, and Keith is the Repo Man. <laughs> yeah. 
Stop saying his name. All right, let's kick it off with uh, a huge shout out to uh, Go Figure Collectibles. Look, when you've when you've when you're running a business and you've been shut down eight times due to a pandemic and you're still standing, bravo! That deserves a round of applause. Any business that's yeah, well, still standing yeah. during those times, you've you've done well. You've worked your butt off, and you've you've got a sustainable and a and a and solid business. So well done. But great news, typical Mattel. He's in stock. He's got Elite Series eighty eight. But still no sign of Elite 87. So they're still on their way. Or do they, who knows where they are? But it's just typical bloody Mattel behavior. Useless as a, uh, can I say it? Tits on Go a bull. On, Tits on a bull. Um, but anyway, Elite 88 are in stock. Get down there. Use code FDU5 and receive your 5% discount. But again, well done, Jeff, and Go Figure Collectibles for getting through this horrendous last couple of years. So well done, guys. Hopefully. No more lockdowns for Melbourne. That sounds like a good future. Um, I actually bought from Go Figure during the week. Right. After our last pod, I said, I don't need a Zodiac. And then I saw Jeff had a Zodiac. <laughs> and I thought, oh, I just wouldn't mind. I just, you know, you, you don't want to miss out. It's that fear yeah. of missing out that you think, yeah. oh, I'll just buy it. So uh, that's on the way. Got the shipping notification on Monday morning. I bought, I think, on Friday afternoon. So looking forward to getting that. I pre-ordered 87 and 88 together, so I'm hoping I've got um, the 88s obviously come into stock, but now I've got to wait for the 87. So yeah. uh, very excited to get that from Jeff. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit more in meet and greet about a little competition we're going to run for um, next fortnight's meet and greet. So stay tuned for that later on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next up, we've got our Wrestling With Figs podcast Spash Down Under Summer Merch. So pre-orders are remaining open until the 7th of November, which is, what, five days away? So get on yeah. board, guys. Support the show. Here's a shirt. For those listening, I'm actually holding up a shirt. Uh, you can't see it. There's, a, there's the logo. But, um, you know, we've got bundle packs. We've got individual pieces, stubby holders, hats, singlets, and uh, T-shirts. They look they looking great, and they've been designed by none other than the great one, John Lucas Reyes. So thank you, John, for the, the busiest graphic designer in all of Australia. Um, one person who benefited from lockdown because everybody went to John for their work. Um, yes. And I just put my order in for mine. So do you hope yep. you receive that? Yep, absolutely. Well done, mate. Look, look forward to you uh, repping down on the beach this summer. I was a bit confused, though, because the code you gave me added on 20% to the price. And... Uh, <laughs> He said, oh, I said, hey, James, what's the code for us cool kids who can get discount? And you gave me a code, I type it in, and it says, oh, plus $20, thanks. There you go. So yeah. well done, mate. Right? Sorry about that. That 20 bucks That's goes okay. straight in my back pocket, mind you. <laughs> uh, Figs Down Under Community, that's our private Facebook group. If you're not a part of that, why not? Come and join us. Great group of uh, guys and girls. We love collecting. We support one another and um, we've got local businesses within, within that community as well that, um, you know, we, we support. So uh, come on Facebook, come on to Facebook and uh, join the, join the club. Now figure news, this is going to be uh this is probably gonna be the longest part of the show. So let's, let's get stuck into it, Chris. On the top of my list, I've got the announcement from Panini cards. They've obtained the WWE license from tops. Now there's a few people that, aren't really a fan of this, but I, I can only see this being a positive. Um, you know, for me, for me, I think the Panetti cards are in the basketball, so they look they look amazing. So, mm. who knows? I think uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. So my issue in the sports world with Panini is that um, quite often I've heard stories of redemptions that never turned up. Um, you're dealing right. with the, the things that have the um, codes, so the points you've got to redeem to get points to get other products and then it doesn't work. Um, look, it's let's confusing. see what happens. I think it's a watch this space with the cards. Uh, it's a strange choice. They must have got offered a lot of money, I reckon, to change suppliers because uh, Tops wouldn't be uh, happy to lose a big client. Yeah. Yeah, well, money talks, I guess, doesn't it? So Definitely look. does with Vince. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But look, bas the basketball cards, you know, um, I do get they've got different uh, coloured variants of the rookie cards and all that sort of stuff that I know in America they, they go nuts for that. So perhaps they're trying to do that with the WWE licence. But let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Yep. Uh, next up we've got Heels and Faces. So a few a few announcements coming out from uh, our mate Zombie Sailor. So he's signed Tajiri, 
which is a cool signing. Uh, he's got the Roadkill concept drawing that was released, and he's got a Mike Awesome uh, announcement and drawing. So there are there are a couple of good signings and a, and a couple of good um, uh, drawings of the upcoming releases. Uh, when, when's, when's Series 1 due to be released? Is it this year or next year? I think it's early next year, but I'll tell you what, I'm getting nervous about Series 1. Because Why? if this shipping doesn't stop, like if we don't get our shipping back from USPS, guarantee you there's going to be issues. No, I think I think the I think that's been lifted. So Culture Shock Collectibles uh, made an announcement that all their stuff is now being shipped from the US. Well, and I and I I got um, I think I told you last last episode that the, the big league pillows, those NBA pillows. Yeah. And I got that shipped priority USPS shipping. And it got here the other day. So, well, know. you'd think that the biggest sorting centres in Australia are in Melbourne and Sydney, and you would think now that they've reopened, there's no excuse. International travels reopened. We need yeah. to send some people now. I can't do anything because I'm in WA. This is the, how the tables have turned. Uh, you can do <laughs> what you want, and I can't. Even yeah. I'm double vax. So I'm going to have to. Maybe I have to pay the Perry man to go and get me to the other <laughs> side and go and get me some figures. <laughs> Because, um, yes, it's like that little reference there. Don't pay the carry, man. Um, we'll have to uh, send somebody over to the US and do some uh, stock buying. I, I can't believe that Jeff isn't on the first flight out to go and get some things. No. I think I think if I was Jeff, I'd be taking a baseball bat and just bashing indoors at Mattel's office. Cause you're, you're just... <laughs> now, we don't condone that if anyone from Mattel's watching. That's not that it's just James. Uh, yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah. The zombie looking good with his two sketches. Yeah. And then we go into. And our very own Porsche and Adam McFarlane from Junk Shop Dog, Dog absolutely killing it with their announcements and releases. So they've got uh, the first prototype reveals were the Dynamite Kid. Uh, and then there's a variant as well. And they look they look fantastic. You know, yeah, the, the trunks on that red and yellow one look really cool. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It looks really, really good. Uh, also coming, coming. What's being released is if you look at the figure there, the socks. He's actually releasing some socks as well, which I thought was a great little touch. There you go, old school gym socks. The dynamite <laughs> nice written one. on them. Huge yep. announcement next with Davy Boy Smith being announced. And here he's got his render there. Like that is that is sensational. Would that you reckon that'll go with the dynamite? Or is it a different? Uh, look, you'd, different you'd have to ask Adam that. But I, I would say it would be separate, but um, it would be pretty cool if it was. Yeah, very good. And last but not least, we've got a Bull Nakano prototype, which has just been, he's just received it. But I've got a little message here from Adam that I quickly want to read out. So, what we're seeing there and what uh, you're listening to me talk to is a Bull Nakano vinyl sample reveal. Uh, with that good news comes some frustrating news. While we are happy with the overall look, the moulds used weren't to our liking in terms of dimensions. This will cause some additional delay. How much longer? They don't know. But they truly appreciate everyone's patience, and that's from the team at Junk Shop Dog. So well done. I think that bull kind of looks really, really good. I look forward to seeing the Davy Boy Smith and the and the Dynamite Kid looks looks they look they look awesome. Cracking fingers. It's interesting so well that you you said. Uh, you send the images to me for our um, live stream, and I saw that. And before the show, I said, "Hey, that great addition! That ball and the kind of looks really good." And then you said, oh, "I'm going to read something from Adam to say that uh, not they're not happy it. with it." So man, yeah. that's great level of quality control. Yeah, absolutely. Critique, critique, critique. Next up, we've got Mattel. So there's a huge list to get through here, Chris, and I know you've added to this list. So uh, how about we kick it off with uh, Big Boss Man from Series? 90 mint on card image. Now, so this is is this the chase? That's the chase. But I need to ask you a question about this. I don't yeah. I don't remember Big Boss Man wearing that outfit ever. The black so attire. He, he wore that when he was like the corporate enforcer for Vince McMahon and um but didn't and, he have like a vest? Yeah. That figure's no, already been re- released. He he definitely wore the black and he had the um the hood thing on as well. I don't think that's it, but man, that that's that's his blue uniform, but just in black. I don't remember him ever having the blue uniform just in black. Yeah, but that's what that figure is. Is it? So it's exactly the same. Well, let's have a look at the blue one. 